Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering Elementary, a DBT observability tool. It is a DBT native data observability solution for data and analytics engineers. It is easy to set up and we can gain immediate visibility, detect data issues and send alerts. We can spin up a powerful reporting and analytics dashboard with a click of a button and introduce an hourly detection layer to our DBT project with minimal effort. It seamlessly integrates with Slack so we can send data related alerts to a designated channel. It is available as self-hosted or a cloud service. We will use the self-hosted option. For this, we will utilize the DBT package and we will add it to our project. We will use the following DBT completed project. You can recreate it by watching the DBT series or simply clone the GitHub repo. So let's go ahead and add elementary dpt package to our project. We'll include the following lines to our packages.yaml file. To install this package, we run the dpt devs command. Now this package is available in our project. We'll save the elementary tables to a new schema called elementary. To achieve this, we'll add the following code snippet to our dpt project.yaml file. And this requires a new profile called elementary. So we'll go ahead and open up the profiles.yaml file and add in the new profile called elementary. This is pointing to the same database, but we change the schema to elementary. Now we are going to go ahead and invoke the elementary command. We'll run the following command, dbt run, select elementary. This will go ahead and create all the elementary related tables in the elementary schema. Package automatically uploads dbt artifacts and run results to the tables in our database. If you encounter a replica identity error on the first or the second run, do not be alarmed. We can simply head to our elementary schema in Postgres and enable replica identity for all the elementary tables with the following scripts. This will sort out the error and the scripts are available in the description below. Once this completes, we can open up our target database and explore the elementary schema. The following tables have the run results of dbt. For example, dbt run result, model run result, snapshot run result, dbt invocation, and elementary test results. The last one includes all the dbt test results. Then there are metadata related tables, for example, dbt models, tests, sources, exposure, and so on. The best part of elementary is out of the box dashboard that allows us to visualize any failing test. This dashboard is available out of the box, totally code free. It runs on a simple index.html and it is generated by the following command, edr report. This command will build few components and once it is complete, it is going to launch the dashboard in a browser. So here's a view of our dashboard. If your dashboard is blank, then go back to the terminal and run the dbt test command. Once you're done, relaunch the dashboard using the edr report command. On the dashboard page, we see the number of tests and tables as KPIs in our project. These visuals will display the various statuses for both of these. Any failures or warnings will be displayed here. To the right, we have the breakdown of monitored versus unmonitored tables. Below this, we have the freshness, volume, schema changes, test, and anomalies. Some of these need further configuration. Following this, we have the visual zeroing in on the test executions and results. This is critical as any failure would indicate the data quality issues. We can navigate to the test details by clicking the test visual. This page lists all the tests and their statuses on the last run. We can filter on any of the columns on this table to view a particular object. In addition, we can expand the project node and select a particular model. We can view the test execution history on the execution history page. Elementary includes the model DAG under a lineage. We can select a model to see its DAG. This is a really neat feature, plus it displays the number of tests on each model. Another neat feature of this report is the model duration. This gives us an overview of how long our models take to build and whether there's an increase in the build time. This is critical information for the data pipeline performance. There are more features available in the elementary cloud version. 
However, the elementary self-host adoption is worth it with the feature it offers. Feel free to explore this dbt package and share your favorite feature. This is all on dbt for now. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.